is having an increasing impact here at home. Joining us now is uh, Schaumburg's Congressman Raja Krishna uh who sits on the House Intel Committee. What are we going to feel potentially here at home besides these uh, uh, soaring gasoline prices that uh, hopefully are leveling off, Congressman? On the Intelligence Committee, actually, yesterday we had a classified briefing with uh, members of the uh, intelligence community, including the NSA, and CISA, which is the Cyber Security uh, Protection Agency, uh, as well as uh, Cybercom, our offensive cyber uh, uh, command uh, regarding this issue. I'm very concerned that Vladimir Putin is going to unleash these cyber gangs that are under his control in, in Russia to launch malicious attacks against private industry. I'm also concerned about attacks on our infrastructure. Uh, and so we are also trying to be very vigilant there, too. So how would we feel that? What's, what's at stake here when you talk about that, Congressman? Well, for instance, with regard to private industry, we all saw what happened with the Colonial Pipeline. That was uh, launched uh, by a cyber gang in, in Russia, we believe. Um, now, um, uh, and, and, I think a and lot for of those who aren't familiar with it, it, it cut off this 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 energy pipeline, and it led to soaring gasoline prices in many parts of the American South. Right, um, and so I think a lot of companies have taken this attack very seriously and have really stepped up their game in terms of cybersecurity. But as individuals, we can also help, Mike. Uh, just as an example, one thing I learned through my committee work is that, uh, you know, even if as individuals we both power down our smartphones at night uh, fully to zero and then power them up in the morning, you disrupt a lot of uh, cyber attacks uh, against individuals. Um, you know, those types of things, practicing multi-factor authentication and the rest, really help with defending our cybersecurity as individuals, too. So is the concern when you when you talk about these infrastructure elements, I know there uh, there is concern that the power plants might be hit. Are, are you persuaded that uh, here in the Chicago area, uh, our utilities uh, have uh, taken this seriously and are protecting themselves? I think they're taking it seriously. I think that they are also in communication with uh, our government officials regarding this issue. Um, I think that uh, one of the interesting things so far is that uh, at this point, Vladimir Putin has not even launched such attacks against the Ukrainian power grid uh, as, as people might have expected at the start of this war. Um, and so we are monitoring this situation very closely. I think what he does in Ukraine uh, could be um, a precursor to what he does elsewhere. And so that's in part why I am uh, urging maximum intelligence sharing with the Ukrainians to fight off cyber attacks there and in, in the in the process help to fend off attacks elsewhere too. So as a member of the House Intelligence uh, Committee, um, I, I know you get classified briefings, so I'm not asking you to share what's classified, but, but we know that Vladimir Putin uh, is bringing in, it's been reported that he's bringing in reserves and other troops from Russia's Far East, from the Pacific. Uh, he's uh, apparently going to be moving them uh, into Ukraine. Um, it, 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 what is the long-term prospect for this war? Well, first of all, I think that Vladimir Putin is uh, facing a ferocious, determined resistance in the Ukrainian uh, army and defense forces. Uh, they are far surpassing any expectations that were put on them by anybody. Um, and as a consequence, he has suffered massive losses and is, has had to bring uh, fresh troops from all parts of Russia to continue this campaign. I think whatever the Ukrainians do on the battlefield uh, to, to continue their cause and continue to mount this resistance will help them uh, down the road with any negotiated peace. Um, I think that whereas maybe three weeks ago we thought the Ukrainians did not have a chance of even bringing the Russians to a stalemate on the battlefield, now experts uh, have upgraded the Ukrainians' chances. That being said, if the Russians do ultimately overwhelm 
uh, the Ukrainian forces and overrun the country, I think we in the United States have to prepare to support an insurgency. So I've introduced legislation with ranking member Mike Turner of the uh, Intelligence Committee is a Republican from Ohio to basically assess and prepare us to support that insurgency so, so that the Ukrainians ultimately prevail. And what would that involve? Because they wouldn't, for example, be able to use uh, and ins insurgents wouldn't be able easily to use those uh, S-300 uh, missile systems, for example, against uh, uh, fighters and even perhaps cruise missiles. They will need other types of armaments in greater quantities, especially smaller arms uh, and um, probably more javelins, more stingers, and um, whatever it takes to be able to be mobile and lethal at the same time. Uh, we've seen in other insurgencies uh, that whoever uh, has the best um, uh, defensive positions uh, also prevails and so they should prepare for that and we should help them um, but ultimately I believe the Ukrainians will prevail because uh, you know they, they they know their country much better than anyone else and they're fighting like hell Mike Congressman Raja Krishnamurthy thanks very much for joining us we'll be right